I'm just back with um, a short edit as you can see in front of you um, I found an old set of macro uh, tubes uh, at the bottom of my drawer the other day so I thought I'd give them a go uh, the other night and I was looking around the camera room to see what I could use and I, f I came across these old nail clippers not a great subject but hey -oh. so what I did is I um, placed the nail clippers on top of an iPad uh, with a view of getting a nice sort of reflection in them um, and then I used the Loom Cube 2.0 with the band doors on to to light the nail cube, uh, to, to light the nail clippers. Um, I used the Nikon D810 with I think it was the 75mm um, extension tube on, and I used the 24 to 120 f4 lens. Um, I shot it at f11 at shutter speed a third of a second, um, and ISO at 64. So I have edited this image quickly before and I'll show you that now so this is this is what I came up with in the end yeah it's a bit um, it looks a bit you know it looks a bit HDR but I, I do like the effect um, and I used a vignette around the side just to um, ease it in a little bit what I'm going to do on this, I'm going to do a, a completely different edit using Lightrooms. Um, I'm probably going to do um, a black and white edit, but I'm going to use, um, is it Nick FX Silver something or other, I think it's called. It's a black and white preset. So I'm going to look at them and see, see what I can come up with. So I'm going to just quickly um, do what I can in Lightrooms. Take it out of Lightrooms into the other one, and then bring it back into Lightroom. So um, I'm going to do, do the crop first. I don't normally do a crop till afterwards, but I do like the one one crop, the square crop. So I'm probably going to get a little bit closer with this one. Try and keep the reflection in. Yeah. And just try I'm using the navigating um, box uh, at the, the left hand side just to see now do I like the reflection going out let's have a look bring it a bit more in yeah so I'm going to do it that yeah so uh, back down to the right hand side I'm just going to go down to uh, lens correction so um, I always tick both of these and what it should do is it should identify the lens that we're on and it, it has brought it up there um, yeah and I'm just going to change um, the white balance it's on the camera it was set as auto and so that means it's a shot on light rooms. If I change it to auto, what it should do, it should bring down. Yeah, it has. It's brought down a lot of the vibrance and saturation of the colour. So I'm good for light rooms at the moment. I'm going to leave it at that. So what I'm going to do now is transfer it to the Nick effect. So if you go up to the top, photo, edit in, and it is the silver. Um, Efex Pro 2 um, and then edit with a copy with yes just they always click that and then it hopefully fingers crossed will come up in the silver Efex and we'll um, see what it looks like on there yep so if I widen that now so as you can see um, I mean, I the left hand side. To be honest, I I never change anything in that. I just look at the quite lazy. I just look at the um, presets down the left hand side. So let's have a quick look. Um, as you can see, it's got the neutral, which is what it's showing now, and then it goes underexposed, overexposed, high contrast. Um, I think um, high contrast there is harsh and then that's smooth um, and then you've got high structure harsh and high structure smooth let's just have a quick look at that one 
and as you can see it's building it now yeah it's not bad so I'll command and Z and it'll put it back to the normal one uh, and then you've got low key uh, then you've got one with a, an ND grad and then you've got full dynamic harsh I like I use the full dynamic smooth a lot so let's just have a quick look yeah um, I quite like that but we'll go further down I mean this sec this part here is just a matter of taste um, but I do like black and white I also um, use the fine art process as well um, it makes it a little bit I start to explain, a bit more grittier there so if I do it again back to normal and then fine art in fact I'm probably going to keep it at that the ones down at the bottom I don't really use because they have effects like um, age photos and film noir and things like that and yellowed uh, I mean if you look at that one so we just get rid of that and look at this one this is the um, antique plate yeah you've got to have the right subject for that so let's just go back up to there's nothing else there is there uh, no yep so I don't know let's have a look at the full spectrum yeah that's not bad I'll keep it at that so I've done that that's it for me for using this one so save yeah so you can tell it's done it because down here where it says edit tiff when you export out of uh, Nick software it always puts it as a tiff um, so there's a little bit down here in the bottom corner there's a little bit of a reflection that I don't like I think what I'll probably do to get rid of that is I'm just gonna add a vignette one thing I need to tell you as well when you export back into Lightrooms after using third-party software you can tell it's it's not registered any of the changes that we did before you know so if I go down to the lens correction it hasn't registered it um, I always re-add re it but I don't think it makes any difference I think it's already there embedded in I may be wrong um, yeah so um, vignette where are you so if I bring a vignette in if you look at the bottom left hand corner you can see that distraction going away yeah now let's just put a bit more of a feather on it yeah okay so um I'm just going to um, bring the shadows up a little bit just to bring some of this back in so I'm going to click the Alt key and then and also just see what the exposure yep slowly bringing it back up I don't want to go too much on the highlights. And again, just drop back on the blacks. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to um, add a bit of clarity. So I've clicked on the adjustment brush, uh, click new click effect and then it, it nails everything and I'm just going to increase the clarity the light on this one was coming in I think from this side so what I'm going to do with quite a big brush is just gently painting a bit more clarity in the direction of the light would have hit
I've got the um, show selected mask overlay tick, so you, you, you can see where you've you've gone. And then I've got that set at 28, so okay that. And then I'm going to bring in another one, new, and then just move this back to about yeah about 14 and then same again just so what I'm doing is the further away from the light source I'm decreasing the clarity so um Again, I'm using the Wacom tablet. Um, I just prefer using a tablet than a mouse. So this is really quick. So let's have a look at that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just a quick edit. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but, you know, while we're in lockdown, um, I do like doing things like this. So um, you probably, a lot of people probably do it differently but I do like this one um, so if I look at the so this is a black and white version and then that's the the color version to be honest I probably prefer the black and white let's just zoom in a little bit and just see I mean that there you know, to say it's a cheap, cheap set of extension tubes, um, I don't think um, the bad really. I mean, it is pretty sharp. Um, I mean, obviously, I use a tripod, um, but just for a ten minute, it took me about what ten minutes to set up, and a couple of minutes to take the shot, so. I think the outcome's pretty good. Okay, so thanks for listening. Um, please do subscribe um, and hit the like button. Okay, thank you.